Hello guys, today we're back with some more Carol Coding. Uh, and today is a pretty easy day. We have one activity and then like two debugging activities. It's more like practice over functions. So if you have your code HS set up, then let's begin. Uh, we're gonna have to make Carol go in through the three holes that you see on screen over here and leave a ball at the bottom. And for this we're gonna do two a function and then again after she comes out one two wait one two three I think I can make go okay 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 one two okay so I was sorry I was just analyzing there a bit let's start as always with our start function and once you have your start function or at least in my case I'm gonna come up here to define the other functions. So the function that we ha need, of course, like the one that is fundamental for this activity, is the dig hole function or something. I don't know. Let's call it function dig. Now inside of function dig, Carol is gonna. Let's assume that Carol is starting in this point. Okay, she's just going down, putting the ball, and coming back up to this point, and facing right. So if she's here, we're going to have her turn right, and then she's going to move, 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 wait, one, two, three, yep, and then she's going to turn around, and then she's going to move to three times. One, two, three, and then she's going to turn right. And now, as you can see, we have two functions here that we haven't defined, which are turn right and turn around. So let's go do that really quick. So function turn right. So here we're going to make Carol turn left three times. And that's pretty much turn right. And now that we have turn right uh, defined, we need to define turn around. So for turn around, we're going to make turn left, turn left. OK. And now that we have these two defined, and we have our main function here defined, Carol needs to move one, two times to be in this point. So we're going to make a, wait, because then when she comes up here, she's going to have to move one, two, three, then does that whole thing, one, two, three, then comes down. Yeah, let's make, let's make an extra one, just for the, just for the sake of simplicity. Function t step, because I think she's going to have to move three times. Let me recheck, one, two, one, two, three, yep. So move, move, move. Now with those four functions defined, defi uh, sorry, defined, you can go ahead and make Carol move, and she's gonna be here. Then you can make her again move, and now she's gonna be here. And then you call dig, and then she's gonna do the whole thing, and then you can do the triple step. Shh, sorry. And we're back, guys. Sorry about that little interruption. So if we run this right now, Carol's going to move. She's going to dig. Ooh, I forgot something very important. She's not putting down the ball. Either way, after she comes out, uh, she's going to end exactly there. So we need to go back into our dig function. And after she moves all the way to the bottom, we're going to put put ball. Now that dick function should be ready to go. And now here we're going to see that she ends right there. So we're just going to define it. I mean, call another dick. Then she's going to move three times again. And then she's going to be here. Another dig. And then she is going to move once. Now that should be pretty much it. 
she moves, puts the ball, turns around, goes to the next hole, digs, puts the ball, does the same thing a third time, and now she should come back up and move once. There we go. Pretty easy. So now we can jump onto the ooh. The function is supposed to be called Burry Ball. <laughs> but I mean that's just changing the name of it. And then you have to change it here. Wait, does it Burry Ball? Yeah. Oh god. So Burry Ball. Burry Ball. Okay. Now it should run exactly the same because the only thing that we did was just change the name of the function. So yeah. Let's submit and continue. And now two debugging assignments. So we have building a shelter. So this is our starting world and this is how it's supposed to end. So my guess is that Carol needs to move one, two, three times ahead, then put a ball and then do the whole shelter and then end up facing east. So, let's see what happens if we run it. Ooh. You define the function turn right twice on lines 20. Okay, so first of all, this is incredibly bad. <laughs> okay, first, 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 let's do the function start. Let's grab all of our code over here without changing anything and put it there. So, as you may have noticed, the main problem here is that the function turned right it has the word function right here. And that's that's not how that's supposed to go. So all I'm going to do is delete that. Oops, deletes the entire thing apparently. Just going to call turn right. And don't forget the semicolon. Now here I'm going to delete the word function again. And leave turn right with the semicolon. Now if we press run. Okay. So far, so good. There you go. So it wasn't... The rest of the functions were okay. For the most part. But the main thing was here that when he was calling the function, he wrote function. <laughs> and don't do not do that. Okay, you're only saying function when you're defining the function, not when you're calling it in your main piece of code. So let's continue. And now for our last debugging assignment, oops, we have build a tent. So... My guess is it's going to be a combination of turn right and go up and then come down. Or it could be turn left. We don't know. So this one even has comments. This is supposed to build the tent. Then this is supposed to make Carol turn right. Then this is going to make Carol turn around. And then this is going to make Carol put the ball, I think. There's two defunctions that do the same thing here. And then there's go home. So if I run it, oh wait, it's two fun. It's one function is to make the left side, and the other function is to make the right side. Okay. Okay. So okay, so far so good. Okay, yeah, I see the main problem here. The main problem here is that Carol is not in the starting point looking east. And first thing that I... Hold on a second. That first thing that we want to do is, like I always say, call the star function. And then cut the main code and paste it in there. And now, like I said, the main thing here is that Carol is not going back home. So she has her turn right function. She has her turn around function. 
She has her function to make the left side of the tent, and she even has her function to make the right side of the tent. The problem here is that Carol is not going home. And if you noticed already, the problem here is that the function itself is not being called. So all you have to do is call go home, semicolon, and then this is just me being, you know, a bit weird. I'm going to cut all of that and paste it up here. And now I'm just going to minimize all of it again. So yeah. Uh, now it should run perfectly fine. So she does her left side. She does her right side. And then she should go home. There we go. And that is all for today, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, and share if you found this useful, helpful, or entertaining. And please leave any comment below with any question you have. It was a pleasure to help you. And don't forget, stay coding. See you next time, guys. Bye.